Are you able to see my screen? Yes. 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 Last time we worked on this. No? We took this data set, Damkari, uh, and then we worked on it. And then we wanted everybody to prepare a presentation. Uh, I think. Uh, Nobody has tried to work on the presentation. Aparthi, what about you? Uh, I just started that uh, quarter thing now only, sir. It just made two two slides. Okay, I think that's a good enough start. Uh, uh, Fredrik, sir, what about you? Okay, I think instead of me sharing, I think Parthi, uh, you can uh, go ahead and share, and then we can let you work on. Anna? Well, so, today, uh, I'll, I'll let you work on that. Yeah. Let me stop mm -hmm. my share. You can share this. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, will we be having sessions with Gurpreet, sir, again? Or... Yeah, uh, I hope uh, he would be a little free. Uh, but uh, turns out uh, he has... Few other projects that he has to finish off before he can do this. But I'll request for a couple of sessions at least. He'll be free in the weekends. So the weekends he can uh, take some time on. I'll, I'll, I'll have a word with him. My screen visible, sir? Yeah, your screen is visible. Your desktop. I know that uh, the data set I've shared with you is quite big, na? How many rows? Yes. Uh, Thirty thousand plus. Thirty thousand. Okay. Um, Critics, sir, you had no issues with it, no? We have uh, Dr. Ashwini. Who is this, Dr. Ashwini? Can I? Sir, it's maybe Shruti, ma'am. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Parthi, uh, you see the difference between the com computer of that you had before and this, no? Yes, sir. This is. Shall I explain it, sir, or? Yeah, I think you can go to the QMD. Uh, okay, uh, just very quickly okay. go through the slide. Uh, I think uh, Anand uh, uh, and Subarna and Pradesh, sir, if you have any issue, and Shruti, if you have any issue, you can just raise it here. Okay. If you don't understand the code as well, you can uh, just uh, yeah, stop it so that we can, you know, have a very, uh, this discussion. Uh, and uh, why this command, what are the alternatives and things like that, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 right from the start, uh, Parthi, if you don't mind me saying, uh, every function has to be followed by a bracket, right? You understood, yes, right? Sir. Uh, yes, sir. And library is a function. Uh, uh, glimpse is a function. Here is a function. Read CSV is a function. Okay? So yes. uh, it's always a good habit. Uh, for a function, uh, just don't give space in between the end oh. of the function and uh, I know you're tempted, uh, but uh, that will really help other people also to understand that whatever you're writing is a function. Okay. No case. Okay. Uh, yeah. The reason is if you just go to line 15. Okay. And type bracket df. Yeah. And hit enter. Control enter. 
that's also the same that it also works okay. so i i would not differentiate uh, that what you wrote in line 14 and 15 different you get my point okay i would think that there are two different things uh, or whatever and one other thing uh, uh, party uh, in line 16 uh, sorry 15 after line 15 hit and enter and just type glimpse g l i n p s c Okay. Yes, hit control enter. Okay, this will also work. Okay. okay. So this is giving you what that function limbs is. Okay. okay. So uh, if at all there might be some formatting issues and things like that, the space in between the function might be pushed to the next line and things. So it will okay. run as two different things. So your it, for in terms of reproducibility, it might cause some yes. issues. Okay. So, yeah, just telling you that. And, um, yeah, you can go ahead. Uh, but one other thing, uh, Aparthi, I hope everybody is, uh, list, I mean, uh, understanding what I'm trying to say. You also are able to see the screen, right? Yes. Okay. yes. Line number 20, uh, can anybody tell me what is the uh, alternative uh, way to do this to find out what are all the unique occupation statuses? Okay, why don't you hit control enter line 20? There are 16. Uh, so if you go up, go up, go up, go up. Uh, so there are these things. Okay. Uh, NA is number five, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, why don't you try uh, uh, in line 21? You can just give one more enter there. Go back up. And then you can say uh, DF. Five. 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 Distinct. Okay, so distinct it is. Okay. Yeah, occupation states. No, it's distinct. Party, you don't have to use your. Uh, Cursor every time. Okay, just hit Control Enter. It will work. Okay. And then if uh, see the difference between the uh, earlier one and this, if you look at, uh, can you scroll back up on the output console? Yeah, this is uh, a character vector, right? It's yes. a character vector, and it's I we know that uh, NA is NA in line five because it is not in quotations. But uh, if you come to the uh, next output, it's a table. Okay. Yes. Tables. Uh, can you go a little up? A little up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can come down. It's a table, and NA is written as NA, which is in red color again, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, output is not uh, anything different, but you'll see the way we are writing it uh, is and so it's taking the F. It's doing a tidy operation, which is a distinct, it's a verb. Okay. It's trying to find out the distinct things, and you're giving the variable name. And the output is also tidy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that way you're you like having a control, right? What is the input? Okay. What's the output? So in the above thing, uh, unique is a function, you need to give a vector. So, and you're using a different notation called a dollar. It's good that you know this. But uh, uh, I would prefer that as a practice, as a, uh, you know, uh, philosophy, try to, as much as possible, use the okay, tidy sir. way of things. Okay. I know I'm being a little, uh, you know, too restrictive for you. But no, sir. Yeah. But uh, I'm telling you this for a reason. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, you can, okay, you are now looking at all the, uh, you have created a plot. With yes. y axis and you created a gg plot geom bar. Yeah. I will just so this is the plot that has created, sir. Okay. One second. Um, okay. Uh, did you attempt to um, uh, did you attempt to categorize these uh, occupations? On your own? 
Sorry, sir, I'm not getting you. Did, did you try to uh, organize, reorganize, or recategorize these occupations? Like, for example, beggar is, is it an occupation? No. Okay, uh, too old to work uh, could also be a beggar, no? Yes. Okay. But yeah, there are issues here uh, in the sense that the data that has been captured is being captured in uh, by somebody who might not have thought about things properly, right? For example, okay. since self-employed, including excluding cultivators, own account workers, unpaid family uh, laborers, uh, we are not really clear on what is own account workers and uh, unpaid family laborers. I think it could be that somebody has taken some. Uh, land on lease and they're working on it, isn't it? Yes. Employers, uh, rentiers, pensioners, other remittance. Uh, okay. So, occupations not able to work due to disability, non agricultural work laborer did not work uh, but was seeking or uh, available for work, cultivator. So, cultivator, uh, they must have put them as a separate category because uh, uh, they are some sometimes uh, coming in the self-employed category. Okay. Okay. Uh, attending routine domestic chores. What, what does this mean? It, it, does this mean a housewife is put in this category? Yes, maybe. Okay. It, it's not very really clear. Okay. If you look at, why don't you look at attending uh, routine domestic chores? And then see what the gender uh, differences here. Can you yeah, can you just have a look? One other thing is that if you let R uh, auto uh, you know fill for you or auto complete for you, that is the better way. Because the moment you give space, it will not uh, understand that it is function. You'll have to manually type things. Okay, sir. So you can say data equals to TF. Here itself, you can say uh, uh, that. No, no, no. Here itself, you can say DF pipe. Okay. Pipe. Filter. Sorry, sir. Filter, filter. Filter, okay. I hope all of you are following. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Filter. Yeah. Now you can say uh, occupation underscore status equals to equals to attending routine domestic courses. So here itself, you are. Um, I would prefer that. Yeah. What you can do is you can just copy it from the uh, data console. Okay. Sir. Last but one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Put it into quotations first. Okay. So now you can give a comma and hit an enter uh, after the bracket. Comma and hit an enter. Okay. So now your data you have told. Now you are giving your mapping, right? Okay. So how do you want this data? So you're taking all the people who have said protein domestic chores, and then you want to find out how many of them are males and how many of them are females, right? Yeah. The same thing, and the you know, mapping AES by equals to. Uh, the gender now we want to find out gender right 36 and then you have to give the what geometry you are using to most of them of male or females yeah, so our assumption was right, no? Isn't it? Yes. Our assumption was that this could be Muslim. Yeah. Homemaker. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the point I'm trying to make again here is that, see, uh, yeah, here again, again, already we got it. Everywhere else, it's almost the same except non agricultural uh, wage labor. Uh, everywhere else, it's almost the same. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Agricultural wage laborers, women are doing more work, right? Even in the field. Yes. Anna? Mm -hmm. Unpaid family laborers, they are also women. Women are more than And yes. uh, there are no beggars. Okay. And uh, attending domestic routine chores, I think it's uh, now. Now the question is: uh, Are they housemates? Uh, is that what they're trying to say, or are they women who are working on? I mean, uh, housewives. Maybe housewives. I don't. Know. Okay. How would you uh, classify a housemaid here? In which category would they go? Regular salaried wage employees. So, so. Sorry. Regular regular salaried or wage employees. Okay, how many of you would like to agree with uh, uh, party? Actually, I couldn't get the. <laughs> okay, uh, party, can you explain? Sar is telling that uh, attending uh, this variable, attending routine uh, domestic chores, uh, which has more female population, may be due to people, uh, female are working as housemates, servants in the house. Or, or they are their own, they are working in their home. Mm. I mean, they are not working. You know, they are just house housewives, right? So yes. there are two uh, things here: either they are housewives or housemates, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So, now, now um, my question was uh, it's not clear in the occupation that uh, who, how many of them are housewives, how many of them are housemates, isn't it? Is there any variable in the data that's actually telling us some of that? No, one, one other thing I wanted to point out is that, you know, you see, uh, these questions that I'm coming up with, we are coming up with the answers quite quickly. Okay. Isn't it? We're, we're trying to look at that, whether that is the same, and we're coming up with new questions. Like, for example, the first question I had was, what is the difference between, you know, um, this right. attending uh, routine domestic chores, right? And then next question was, you know, is there any variable uh, that tells us whether you know they are housewives or housemates? Isn't it? So, is there any variable? Do you want to see marital status? Will that tell you something yes, about? But then that's that's not really going to help us, right? Anyway, and let us let us not uh, digress. But yeah, okay. I, I I'm glad that you guys uh, are understanding what I'm trying to say. I hope you're understanding what I'm trying to say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then now why don't you move forward? So this is, I have created a group of uh, social group also. So which, uh, they have social groups, others scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. Okay. I try to see who is doing the jobs more, which jobs more. Okay. Like this grid. Hmm. It has given us this one. Okay. Um, what does this mean? So, uh, next chart I tried to percentage it like this. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there is any much difference between the social groups. Sir. Okay. 
Okay, I, I, I get it. I think uh, yeah, our assumption that, but then you see, uh, no, but then why are you doing it male female? Sure. No, what I would have done is okay. that uh, instead of faceting by males and females, sorry, faceting it by uh, occupation, sorry, social groups. Okay. Yeah. I would have uh, uh, colored it by as uh, social groups. Okay. And grid would have been something else. Uh, why, why don't you do that? I mean, and you just copy line uh, 40 to 47. Sorry. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. yeah, come and paste it in 49 or 48. Okay. okay. So now uh, occupation status is fine. Uh, so first let us remove the fill and uh, put it social group. Okay. Uh, actually, I have a doubt. Yes, yes. Sorry, uh, is it relevant to add uh, NA here? Or if we give NA dot arm is equal to true? Will that's also that, that's acceptable. That's acceptable. I think uh, Parthi, I think you can do it in line 15, 51 itself. Just, okay, sir. Yeah, you can just uh, pipe after DF. Pipe. You can say filter. Okay, <laughs> now the uh, tricky part. Any note RM equals to true is only for when you want to get the summaries, right? So if you want to filter out an A's, you can say is dot na dot na and then no no space no space bracket open. Sorry, sir. Open your open your bracket. Okay. And then say occupation underscore state. Okay. You want only those which are not NA, right? Yes. So yes. why don't you add uh, exclamation mark before is dot n? Sorry, somebody had a question. Yes, sir. NA is in capital. Uh, I know uh, NA has to be in capital. That's the way it is represented. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a small yeah. NA. No, oh, I'm just uh, explaining to uh, Subarna that NA is represented as a capital letter when something is missing in R. Okay, but the function to find out if it is really NA or not is is dot NA. Okay, because they're using uh, the small lowercase uh, ways of writing things. Right, much of the functions don't have capitals. Okay, unless it is a special function. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, uh, Parthi, uh, I know that uh, your screen uh, is going off after the bracket before A, yes? Yes. Just hit an end. After the comma, sorry. After the comma. Okay. Now you can resize your thing. Little bit more if you want. Okay. So now um, I think uh, you can remove um, uh, anything after the uh, line 53, including the plus. I mean, yeah, that one you can do later on. Or, or just yeah. like, just, uh, yeah, okay, just hit control enter. Let's, let's explore what this is talking about. Okay. So. Now, uh, you, you can use percentage that you did, uh, position equals to fill instead of dodge. So, majority, see, now, now it makes sense, right? See, out of all the beggars, out of all the beggars, which caste is more or which social group is more? Yes. Now it makes sense, no? Yes. Don't you agree? Sir, I just have a doubt here. Like... No, I, I agree. Uh, uh, that is more. Others is more. I get it. I get it. Okay. Yeah. Now look uh, at all the occupations. Now my question is, is 
everything distributed equally. Okay. Earlier, we had a assumption that all of them were equally distributed, isn't it? Why don't you run uh, uh, line 47? Yes, No, which was the one you said everybody is equal? The one, next sorry. one, huh? Nine fifty nine. All of them are same. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. So you are looking at the color which is represented by gender. Okay. Not by uh, social groups. Okay, sir. I hope you understand. Yes, yes. Now in I understand. Every occupation, gender-wise, it is similar. Like oh, in all social yeah, groups. Yeah. The gender is similar. Okay. Yes, sir. So, it is not equal by social group. Social. So, in order to find... So, uh, that that's why, Parthi, uh, I think what uh, you'll benefit from is coming from a sequential way and uh, having a yeah i think i think what you did is great uh, uh, but you have to also think about how we can interpret this and what additional questions we need to ask isn't it so the interpretation part uh, was actually uh, based on gender not on social class i hope that is clear yeah. I was in hurry to put all the I, variables. I know. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad that you uh, pointed it. That, I mean, did that so that we could spend some time on this. And uh, I hope now everybody else would be interested to have a look at the data set as well. No. Yes. Why don't you uh, go back to line uh, forty-nine? Yes, sir. Yeah, sorry, fifty-one. Control in the one. What else are you seeing? Okay. You see, I, and the point I'm saying is which is the social group that is the least, I mean, around 50%, right? Which is the social group or which occupation is the least and uh, others? The isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, if I ask you which is the, the social group that is, uh, or which occupation is highest in SCs? The best. Isn't it? Which, is, which occupation is highest in STs? The best. Again, the good. So that that, that that is what we are looking for. Okay. Okay. And now, uh, which occupation is highest in others or general gain? Own account worker, self-employed. Own account worker, self-employed. What is the second highest option for others? Employers. Employers. Okay. Now, uh, I think I made my point. No? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes. yes. Now, okay. Now, uh, I think tomorrow, I think Parthi, your challenge would be to put yes, all of this into ascending and descending. Okay, sir. Okay. Create two plots. Okay. Or three plots. One, arranging it by uh, the proportion of STs. Okay. Other plot is arranging it by proportion of SCs, and the third plot is arranging it by the proportion of uh, uh, others. I, I hope okay. I'm making myself. Uh, I mean, the po you're getting the point that I wanted to say, right? Yes, sir. Right now it's looking a little jumbled. So if you have yes, to say that, you know, the red color is ascending or descending, yes, yes. blue color is ascending or descending. Or yes, green color is ascending or descending. Then you'll realize, okay, what is what? Yes. And uh, I think that should be the challenge for you 
for tomorrow. Okay. Good, good. Yeah. I think we can move. And I think uh, Parthi, uh, sorry, uh, Subarna, your point to remove any, sorry, it was you or Anand? Uh, me, sir. Anand, Anand. And your point to remove NAs was also uh, good, that we should have removed NAs when we are doing this, isn't it? Okay. And imagine this is one district. So gender-wise, there is no bias, but structurally, socially, there is a bias. I mean, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm getting it from the data. Okay. Which is, which is explainable. No, it's not something that is rocket science. Right? Yeah. yeah. Even you don't look at this data, you'll be able to say this, but it's good that data is also backing these kind of, uh, you know, things. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Then I tried to uh, correlate or explore the respiratory illness and uh, CBD with the tobacco. Thing. Okay. So for that, I have uh, created a new column based on a uh, tobacco, uh, new column called tobacco based on chief and smoke columns, mm -hmm. whether they are achieving so, uh, some irritables or smoking the tobacco. So mm -hmm. I've created a new column that uh, I have made many entries as one, like uh, in Chiu, there is uh, many very uh, entries such as good card, pawn masala with tobacco, Good card, pan masala without tobacco kind of thing. And smoke, we have usual smoker and occasional smoker. I have grouped that as yes. Like the way I created a okay. new column. Okay. Oh. Pan, uh, with or without tobacco, you have put them as uh, tobacco chewer, right? No. Yes, sir. I tried to actually name it as tobacco and other irritables. Okay. okay. I, I think I get it. Uh, I think uh, he's a chewer. In my is not. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, I um, okay. X fine. Then I uh, since the data set is too vast, I tried to uh, create a subset that only taking the diseases of uh, respiratory illness, cardiovascular uh, these systems, and uh, mouth and dental problems. Uh, okay, I, I think Parthi uh, again. If I would ask you to write between lines ninety and ninety one, the tidy yes. way of doing this. Okay. How will you do it? So what are you trying to do? I try to filter out the entries. So you have, this my, you, you have the answer to my question. You try to what? Filter, sir. Filter. Oh, yeah. 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 So if you have to do that, how would you do it? D. One. Up to this, I'm clear, sir. So then what to do? Is... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just copy whatever is there between a comma and uh, yeah, yeah. This one. Just copy everything, 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 everything. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Just before the bracket. Yes. Sir. You have to add one more bracket. One more bracket. Okay. Sir. Because you open one the... bracket, now uh, yes. you see uh, close. You have two brackets. Yeah. Now, now you just yes. control yes. enter. Control enter. It's the same thing. Once you, it is three seven six seven rows. Sorry, uh, three seven 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 rows. Yes. Just go to your console. Little more up. Go to go scroll it a little more up. Little more up. Yeah, yeah. See table. How many rows? How many columns? Seven, three double columns. Okay. So you you uh, you get it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, though subset is a good command to use it, uh, but okay. I would prefer that uh, uh, you have. Uh, and you can what you can do is you can just uh, uh, see you've created one more df called tobacco df right yes, sir. isn't it in the above lines yes, sir. have you or have you not yes i have created yeah I, I i would not do that i mean what's the point isn't it you're just yes, adding sir. see if you look at your uh, 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 environment pane look just above yes, your plot you see, DF is the same 
uh, with top D. The only thing is you added one variable. Yes, sir. Okay. Why? Yeah. So let it be in DF it. itself. There's yeah. no point because you already very clearly mentioned that this is that, right? You can remove that DF, oh, sorry, top DF. And then in your line, yeah, you can just run that last line. Yeah, control enter. It will still work. And yes. just remove uh, uh, your. Yeah, in line as 87, now you can come copy that tail subset. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're creating a new respiratory DF. This I would understand. Yes. Yeah. This I would understand. Uh, and now you can. Yeah. This will work, sir. Yeah, this will work. Uh, why don't you do that? Okay. Oh. 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 And then, yeah, it's good. Uh, uh, I think uh, now, now uh, you can uh, show us what exactly. See, so, I hope all okay. of you are understanding uh, where exactly things. Uh, what I really mean when I say tidy way, right? These are all functions you already know, isn't it? Yes. yes and the philosophy behind it is pretty clear. And when I asked you what is the first thing that you're trying to do, you use the word filter. You already have the answer, you are already thought about it, right? Yes, sir. So you can just use those verbs. You don't have to, you know, uh, create anything new. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, move ahead. Move ahead. Then I try to uh, explore the uh, those illnesses with uh, with respect to tobacco and other irritables. Okay. Then now, uh, so so can you uh, explain this? I think what Parthi said, sorry, uh, Anand said we could do is we can remove NAs just for the sake of the plot, right? Okay. So how would that go? I could just say pipe is dot na. So we could remove symptoms for training to illness, right? Exclamation. Source. Filter. We have to use filter. I hope you're uh, I know I understand that you yes, have sir. still not got the word filter. Isn't it? Filter and select you are confusing, right? No, sir. Somehow I have know what is select and what is filter. So mm -hmm. filter is a funnel shape. So that should come for row. That's how I'm remembering that. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now within within the NA, I would like you to put the variable name symptoms pertaining to illness. What yes. was that? In the just in the AES X equals to your Yes. No, no, no. That, that's right. fine. No, not equal. Just brackets are fine. Okay. One more bracket. I must apologize to you guys, uh, but uh, I might leave a little early because I am uh, in my hometown and I have to spend some time with my family. But what I'll do is uh, we can, uh, uh, once this is done, we'll look at the um, uh, slides as well. You know? And then uh, we can work on that. Maybe okay. I'll get give you more time to work on work by yourselves. I think that will be a better this thing. Why is there no DF? No. Okay, the NA is coming from tobacco. Okay, what you can do is just copy whatever is there in filter, the bracket. Okay, okay. within no no within the bracket of filter. Within the bracket of filter, including exclamation mark. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Till the next bracket. Next bracket. This one, sir. Yeah. That is all within one bracket, right? Yeah. Copy that. Yeah. And then copy it. Control C. Now you uh, hit the right arrow. Comma, enter. Comma, and enter. Paste, Control V, 
and yes. instead of symptoms pertaining illness, I would like you to fill tobacco. I mean, write tobacco. Okay. 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 So, what does this mean? So, I have expected that people who have uh, uh, told yes yeah. for tobacco and irritables, so they would have got. Uh, so I would prefer you to use, uh, again, the reason is uh, there are a lot of people who don't smoke tobacco or don't yes, chew sir. tobacco, right? Well, see uh, this, now I'm getting it, so that's yeah. why I stopped. So what you can do is you could uh, um, uh, get the proportions, you... right? And okay. one other thing, tobacco is not only a problem for, uh, you know, uh, respiratory illnesses, it's also a problem okay. for many other things, right? Cancer, yes, that, yes. Tuberculosis, uh, uh, you know, hypertension, cardiovascular disease. So, your assumption that tobacco and respiratory disorders will be the only things that will be uh, associated is a little biased. Okay. Right? Okay. So, if you could think about, okay, uh, what other things can I do with tobacco, right? The problem, I mean, uh, in the sense that oral cancers, do, do you have any? Uh, Shared risk factors, right? When somebody is saying only tobacco and somebody is saying tobacco plus alcohol, right? Okay. Sir. So if somebody is saying both the risk factors, is the dose response higher, right? Okay. Is the proportion or is his risk of uh, having any kind of respiratory disease or cardiovascular disease high? These are the things you could be check, uh, checking. Yes, sir. Am I making sense? Yes, sir. What about the rest of you? Uh, am I wasting your time? No, sir. No, no sir. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let, let go here. Okay. No, I, I think uh, uh, this is a good idea. Why don't you try the film one? You control yes, answer this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I'm, know how to interview. Yeah, I, I think I think it's a very easy thing to interpret. You know, somebody started having problems, dental problems and mouth problems, then he stopped using tobacco. Okay. Isn't it? No, sir, I'm not getting it. Okay. Uh, uh, Shruti or Frederick, sir, uh, could you uh, pitch it? I think it's, this is an interesting uh, plot. Very few people. Can, yeah, can you I mean, so please zoom it? Actually, I can't see the video. Yeah, sure. So. I don't know. My zoom option is not working. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, no, you can zoom it. Zoom will open in another window, no? Yeah, yeah. sir. Sometimes I will click that, but that doesn't respond. Okay, it's, it's opening, no? okay. Yes, sir. It will definitely respond. We don't know how to find it. Okay, sir, but maybe I'm pressing too much time. So <laughs> maybe. Okay. Can anybody explain? I mean, I, I might be wrong or I might be. Uh, oh, oh, sir, you are telling those who are having mouth and dental problems are all like because they are not current things because like they have stopped or something. It looks like that. Yeah. See, uh, what I mean to say is that uh, when you have mouth and dental problems, uh, People tend to, and this is not just tobacco, no, this is also chewing tobacco, not just smoking, right? It's yes. chewing, yes. Why don't you just look, uh, I mean, uh, break it down with chewing? Why don't you do it, yeah. uh, uh, tacit it by chewing tobacco? Yeah. You can just add one plus there, uh, yeah, in the end. Okay, sir. Here? Sure. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Enter. Tacit. Wrap or big passive wrap. What was the variable name? Tilde, give a tilde, and then yeah, Q, right? Q, yes, just try if it works. It's not working, sir. One second, this is only looking at respiratory problems, right? Yes. yes. No, 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 no. I think it's uh, wrong. Yeah, anyway. Mm. Two. The three are there, sir. But... 
Yeah, I, I think we have uh, done something wrong here, right? Within tobacco only, you have chewer and non-chewer, right? Yes. Isn't it? So why don't no, you pass no. it wrap by tobacco? So tobacco is okay. Tobacco is the... Okay. So tobacco means it's chewing and smoking, right? No, sir. Actually, they have two different columns called as chewing and uh, smoking. Smoking contains only tobacco. Chewing is pan, gutka, with tobacco or with not tobacco. I will show the data settings. Well, the variable that you have created. Yes, sir. So in tobacco, yeah. you said wherever they are, yes. So you don't have, a, okay, you have, a, so, okay. I, I think what we should do is, uh, can you come down? Come down? Yeah, uh, where were we? Yeah, yes. Yeah, instead of tobacco, change it to uh, smoke. Fill and fill pass it up, chew. Okay. And is not any uh, should be uh, small, isn't it? Yeah. Or yeah. just control enter. So now you see this is again. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, there are three things, right? The first one yes. is cardiovascular. The second one is um, um, respiratory. The third one yes. is Dental, problems. Dental, problems. Dental problems, right? Uh, so, yeah, I think uh, chewer is more, right? Yes, chewer is more in the mouth than dental problems. Uh, it's chewer. It's chewer. I think what we can do is we can say uh, ex smoker. Now uh, we got that already, right? Ex smoker, or is it ex smoker or ex chewer? It's ex chewer at the top. Ex chewers and ex smokers, right? In ex yes, sir. In ex chewers, ex smokers have got higher. I think, uh, uh, Shruti, you can take this uh, question ahead, right? Okay. Uh, I mean, you can explore this a little further, isn't it? Yes, sir. In your own way. And maybe you can come up with this. Okay, uh, we can go forward. Uh, yes. I don't know, Anand, are you following, following us? Uh, yes, sir. But, uh, but I think never smoked people have much problems. Ne never smoked people have? Uh, more problems. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's an on, um, uh, you know, when we say that, it, it's just like uh, this, uh, uh, we were saying that uh, people with others are having, are also highest beggars. Yes. They were the highest beggars. And to and back back of all beggars to... were uh, general category, isn't it? Yes. But in general, everything others was higher, right? So what yes, we know is, uh, you know, one question, Anand, is that we think about causality, right? We say that, you know, if you do this, you'll get this. Isn't okay. it? But people don't do that also, they'll get it. That's in a background risk. Everybody has that risk. But yes. people who do that are at higher risk of getting that. Yes. You get my point? Yes. Uh, my question is, uh, if you know, people don't get into accidents or people don't die when and they wear helmets. Yeah, they do, no? Yes. But there is a higher chance if you don't wear helmet, you die. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. So that is where this is coming from. Don't get a very uh, uh, this thing, but you know, if you then in that this all green, that means you know you don't you never smoke. Also, you'll get all these things. Oh. But yeah, uh, what I'd also like to uh, uh, see from you guys is that why don't you look at the shared risk factors, right? I mean, in the sense that uh, tobacco and alcohol is there any difference? I think I think you can also look at the age patterns, right? Women. Uh, it, is smoking more or chewing more in women? Chewing is more in women. Yes. Have, you, have you seen that in the data? No, oh, sir, not in the data set. I yeah, don't yeah. So, yeah, and those are the things that I'd be interested in because these are uh, okay. some set notions that we come from. And if we are able to establish this date, I mean, uh, this fact that yes, women are more chewers, 
That means okay. the data's quality also is representative of what's happening on the ground, right? Okay. I hope you are understanding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Move. Then I have tried to explore this uh, respiratory and uh, CVD uh, uh, cardiovascular diseases with respect to alcohol. Mm -hmm. This is what I have got again. Then I tried to yeah, one explore thing, the... Uh, um, one thing, uh, Bharti, even in the previous yes. quarter, your title is not matching with your accent. Okay. Okay, because you have all three systems. It's not only CVD, right? Yes. You yes. have respiratory and mouth, dental mouth. Can you go back to the previous plot? Yeah. Here also you're saying uh, respiratory diseases. Dental problems. Yeah, but dental problems is also there, huh? The third column, isn't it? There is okay. problem. Yeah. So you have to be a little less thing that. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Shall I continue, sir? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Then I tried to uh, explore this respiratory illness with respect to kitchen type uh, and cooking fuel. Kitchen type. Now with the Zoom is not open. Okay, you already have Zoom open. Just press on the Tar Studio window down, 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 down. No, the icon down on your start button on your taskbar. Okay, Just sir. R Studio, R Studio, come to the right, right, right. Yeah. Don't okay. Plot. Press on okay, that. Sir. This it's all in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I hope you have now understood. Yes, sir, now I understand. Me. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. What, what I have found out is. Yeah. People using the hood uh, who is having kitchen inside the home has a higher prevalence. Okay. Cooking inside the home? Uh, okay. Cooking inside the house uh, who uses firewood as a cooking fuel have a higher prevalence of respiratory illness. Mm. Yes. Mm. One question does not have kitchen. There are two things popping up. No. Uh, this uh, that's why sir, I just uh, so they have does not have kitchen or they have kitchen inside the home they have kitchen outside the home these are the entries sir. okay this, this is a good enough uh, rich data no this is three lakh fifty two thousand households right yes sir is it here? yes sir okay so now I'm not understanding the question what you asked us. The question I had was, uh, yeah. does not have kitchen also has, uh, uh, are using firewood somehow? Yes. What does that mean? Maybe they are using outside. Yeah, totally. yeah. they are using outside. Okay. okay. So just inside the house doesn't matter. Maybe. It's a type yes. of fuel outside. Okay. Right? Yes. Then I try to look for. Sorry. Then I try to. Sir, I think one other thing you can look at is uh, uh, gender, right? Because many of the women tend to cook, and okay, if sir. wherever the household uh, has kitchen, in that household, mm -hmm. these women have are women more uh, having respiratory disorders more. Then you okay, can correlate sir. or give an association, or there is some relationship. Between gender okay. and cooking and have fire um, type of food. Okay, sir. You get my point? Yes, sir. I put that. Okay. So th those Shall are do the that questions. Now? Yeah, you're most welcome. Uh, but uh, what, what, what I try to guide. also um, encourage others is to pick up on these cues and you should be interested to answer those questions. And with this power of, uh, you know, uh, uh, R and data science, you should be able to answer those questions uh, with a very reduced latency, isn't it? Okay. Yes, sir. And then you can move forward. 
okay so then i try to look upon the uh, literacy level and the toilet facilities so here we could see people who have a uh, less uh, less uh, level of uh, lower level of education or uh, they have a higher prevalence of uh, um, defecating in open air Then I tried to explore the insurance it, it, coverage. It, 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 one second, uh, uh, yes, you know, Parthi. It might not be just because they are literate or illiterate. It could also okay. be the income. No? Uh, oh, income is not in the Yeah, income is not in the But what about yes, uh, any kind of uh, residential thing? No. What kind of house they have? Do they own uh, the have building? Uh, no? uh, house is this? The, I that didn't income think. definitely will come from that composite indicator, right? Indicator in the sense that do we have a radio, do we have a telephone, do we have a SIM machine? Yeah. This data is coming from the uh, uh, standard of living index. Uh, have you ever heard of the standard of living index? Yes, Sorry? Yes, sir. Yes, it sir. calculates all the positions and in village the age. Isn't it? Uh, one second. I, I'll just... Uh, uh, find that. Uh, Shruti, can you look for it? Sorry, sir. Can you look for that uh, 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 this thing? Okay, can you so look for the... Yeah, I think something I should know. Indian Standard of Living Index, right? Do, do you... Uh, did you ever look at that question? Did you ever... Have an idea that there's a questionnaire available called so, standard so of living index. Is breaking they ask about toilet facility, those that's things, that's source that's of right. income. Yeah, there is an index called standard of living index. It has been used in multiple uh, national level surveys. Okay. okay sir. Uh, it's not just in India, but also in Namibia, Congo, and many other countries. Okay, so based on these different, uh, uh, like uh, uh, I think, what is structure? What is the owner status? What what is the source of drinking water? Is it a filter water? Uh, what is the lighting source? Uh, is there electricity? Do you have a computer? Do you have a washing machine? So there are multiple domains in that as well, and based on that, you come up with a composite index called the standard of living index. Okay. Okay. So that standard of living index could be used to, as a uh, proxy for your okay. uh, usage of toilet, isn't it? Okay. Sir. Rather than saying that uh, you know uh, uh, literacy alone, or then standard of living index and literacy can be looked at, right? Then okay, you can sir. say if somebody is more literate, then their hmm. standard of living is higher. Okay, sir. And you can now okay. see this across the social groups. Is it okay, really? Sir. I, I hope I'm not confusing you too much. Yes, sir. It's clear, sir. I think I could come with that tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should spend a little more time. Then uh, you will, I know, you only know, really have 24 hours. <laughs> and I know that you have other things also to do. But Actually, I wanted ready something for today's class. So I just yeah. started this. But no, no, I, today I, it's good. It's good. It's good. I think if you're saying that you started today morning and you came up till here, I think it's a good effort. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. Then I try to explore the insurance coverage with right to the education level. So what I got is Uh, here, what I say is people who have a higher, uh, more education, they seem to have very less insurance coverage. So I tried to find out why. So I had already had a thing that this one. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's not uh, only solely based on education. It's also yes. based on uh, your standard of living, like either your APL or BPL. Right? Yes. So insurance so, usually is based government insurances. Uh, then you can see. Uh, by education, what is the different classes of uh, 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 insurance schemes? I think insurance schemes is also given, na? the names of the insurance scheme. Yes, sir. They have one called RSBY. Yeah. 
that is yeah. then i checked about that that is only offered for bpl families of yeah. the state so i just try to that. okay i later mentioned that in the comments good okay yeah uh, can you go ahead in the so this is what I got. People who have less education, they have, uh, they all have got this uh, think, rash yeah, first. Yeah, I first, think no? everybody should take in what uh, Anand has mentioned. No, that will remove NAs yes. for that. At least yes. for the yes. plots, isn't it? Focus. At least for the plots, we will remove the NAs so that way we can mm -hmm. have uh, a clear cut representation, isn't yes. it? Not okay. on the DF itself. Where should I exactly paste that, sir? Could you yeah, exactly. Yeah, there itself. Now, in the DF itself, you can say uh, uh, pipe filter is dot na. Uh, uh, okay. Then you can use highest class, highest qualification, and health health schemes. Okay, other, sir. Right. Somebody must be having two screens, sir. Huh? You can use exclamation mark. Yes. Yes. You can also say how many of them are having two screens. I mean, I'm just. Uh, is, you have health insurance scheme one and health insurance scheme two. No? Okay, sir. I think what you can do is instead of saying one, you can use the variable called is covered by health scheme. No, sir, I'm not getting you. Okay, Re remove health scheme underscore one from that. Line. Okay, here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then say is is covered. No, 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 no space. Okay. Yeah. Enter. Okay. Now look, control enter. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are NAs also. Okay. One second. Education will remove highest qualification is removed. You can also remove health scheme one. Okay. Sir. Or you can add that. Okay. I could add that. Let's copy line one. Yeah. Paste it. So you see, employee state insurance scheme. That's usually for people who are actually uh, our mediclaim from employer or mediclaim. These are private insurances, right? Yes. These are not provided by the, uh, the you know government sector. Agree? Yes. So you see their proportions are getting higher when the education level is getting higher. Right. Okay. But interestingly, people who are highly educated also are availing these government schemes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So, uh, you know, but again, this is not income, this is education. And you should keep in mind that, you know, people, even when they're saying they're highly educated, they might be producing some kind of BPL card or something like that. I mean, it, it, it's definitely possible. Uh, and because we're not talking about metros, we're talking about Chhattisgarh, uh, a district called Damtari. What is that? Yeah, Damtari. 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 So, uh, yeah, it's a small district and it could be possible. Okay. Uh, I, I feel that uh, we can go forward. Okay, so then this is the last one. I just tried to explore the educational level between uh, sexes, sir. Yeah. So, as usual, this is what uh, maybe I could read in next year also. So, in the lower classes, yes, sir. in the lower education, women are in the higher ones, men tend to get. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, so there is a divide, right? There is a discrepancy between gender and heterogeneity. But then, uh, what exactly do you mean by class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, is it years of education? The highest qualification. Okay. Uh, proportion, you can say just instead of dodge, you can say fill. That will be much more clear. Instead of dodge, you say fill. Fill, okay. That will be much more clear. Yes. Is this what we're trying to? I mean, this, this is what we're trying to show, right? It's more crisper, more uh, to the point. Yes. Right? Yes, There's sure. nothing wrong with the previous plot in this plot. Okay. Yes, but this one gets across your point much more, uh, you know, uh, vehemently, uh, not vehemently. Uh, I mean, it, you don't have to say much, right? It's self explanatory in a way. Yes. So, data visualization is also a skill. I think uh, we should, it is an acquired skill, actually. The more you, you know, look at other people's graphs and try to interpret it, the more you would also interpret your graphs, right? Okay. So, uh, I think we'll close it in 10 minutes, but I'd like to look at your presentation. Uh, that is just, okay. this is what I have typed. So, I just made it... Uh... Try to, try to make a slide uh, which will denote about this Damtari district. That's also. Okay, why don't you render it and let me see. Is it the same? Yes. Sir. I think then I'll trouble uh, uh, Frederick, sir, if it's available. If you'd like to share your screen and show us your presentation, that will also be fine. Okay, thanks, sir. Okay, you have done it as a present PPT. Yes. This is what it has given me now, sir. Okay. okay. Um, then I tried to index my map on this, but okay. I think I'll give you time till tomorrow, maybe. You'll have more to add on to this tomorrow, right? Because of our conversations. Right? Sure. Okay. Yes, great. Predict, sir, you'd like to share? Yes, sir. Is it visible? So it's visible. Yes. 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 What do you think is the uh, uh, introduction is uh, this way? Yeah. Uh, but, Frederick, uh, sir, if, if you, yeah. uh, what you can do is uh, in line 21, 23, yes, uh, you yeah. just give one space after the height. After the height, then just give one yeah. space. Yeah, even 21. 21 also. Even below twenty five. Yeah. yeah, I think it's your first thing that it runs. Yeah, now you can uh, control shift K also. But I'm glad that uh, uh, your laptop is able to address no, sir, all I'm, these. No, I got a new one. Sir. Oh, new <laughs> laptop. Okay, yeah. okay, congrats. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then the uh, here that uh, I could not do this one. Okay. Can you scroll that? To that yeah. part? Data okay. contains data. Data, yeah. data contains data on so many Very DF much. and row. Okay. You what you can do is uh, use the uh, what do you call it the, above the tab. There is a uh, no, no, no. Just give a space here. 
on your keyboard there is caps lock and tab you know above tab there is a button yeah, yeah. tilde uh, just click on that okay. yeah okay. press small r yeah and give a space okay now type df pipe control shift m uh, and n row n row n row your number of rows good. no 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 control just, shift no no n row r o w and open bracket and close bracket okay it doesn't okay it won't come automatically okay no, because you are right, not writing it within the code now you press okay. control shift m uh, sorry control shift okay. k control shift k okay. now you see no okay, okay correct yes okay. so the, if you want to write things within your line it is called inline code chunk okay what you are seeing in line 37 is uh, called the co r code chunk, chunk okay chunk. r chunk yes sir. but what you are seeing in line 31 is called inline code chunk inline okay yeah if you want anything to be second i think we'll spend more time on uh, uh, how to write quarto documents and things but i am very glad that at least you are all able to uh, the homework for this is done right you are understanding how to appreciate this okay then you can move to the next slide in the table okay. it was okay. shown on the video it's the same thing yeah, yeah, yeah. and the next one this side made using that uh, gt summary gt summary gt is summary. that helpful yeah but uh, it's not uh, up to my some more maybe yeah, yeah. some yeah yeah maybe we'll spend one session on the summary yeah okay. but it is it is looking good yeah, as it yeah. is but few things are required yeah but then this is very easy you can publish it okay yeah yeah yes, the sense is are called publish publishable what do you call it publication ready table publication ready yeah. okay can you show the code to that So this one. This is what you have done, huh? Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you go to the uh, uh, quarto document? And where exactly you have used that? Yeah, this one, right? Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. And it has appeared here also. That that is something wrong. Yeah. No. That that is exactly. That's perfectly fine. Okay. What, okay. Uh, yeah. That's perfect. I did not want this alcohol use two times. This is, I think, variable name, and this is a label. Alcohol use yeah. is a label. Yeah. Yeah. Variable yeah. label. Yeah. Now, uh, maybe we will spend some time on how to tweak yeah. things. Okay? Yes, if you want column percentages, how? If you want row percentages, how? Now, if you want italics, how? If you want to remove okay. the unknown column or NAs, how to do yeah, that? Yeah, unknown is yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So all of that we can do. And if you want to add one um, total column, you add added it on your own. Okay. Can you show me yeah. the code once again? How did you add the total column? You use the cross. Okay. okay. Uh, table cross is one function yeah, yeah. which was Okay. Okay. You have other uh, uh, this thing also. Table summary is one a very uh, usable function. Table uh, regression is one usable function. Univariate regression is one usable function. Uh, you can use logistic regression, uh, linear regression, multiple linear regression, multiple logistic regression. All of that can be very used happily. I think, uh, sir, what you can do is why don't you explain us each line if possible? Yeah. So line table 50. cross comes from uh, JT yeah. summary to make a cross table. Where did you load that package from? Uh, JT summary. Okay, install JT summary. Which line did you use? Uh, I, no, I put it in the top again. Okay. Yeah. JT summary. This is the package. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then. And uh, rows uh, will be alcohol uh, use type. Columns is sex. Percent will be in the brackets. Mm -hmm. 
then the pipe add p value p value style is uh, decimals up to 3 then modified header is uh, that label variable name and spanning header is about that male and female i think many of the things are set by default okay you don't have to worry no many of yeah, the some things by default, are some are added by looking at the exam example in the website yeah, yeah i think you can spend a couple of more days on gt summary excel it will yes, give you a lot of uh, uh, freedom and you can do things on your own very yeah. easy okay okay i think uh, uh, you can now go back to your presentation two more slides are there. No, yeah, I think uh, it's a good start. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, we can work more uh, till tomorrow, and tomorrow we can uh, uh, all share their. Uh, okay, um, I know that you're all busy, but I want everybody to work on this. I know I'm asking too much, but uh, will it be possible? You're all working on uh, borrowed laptops and uh, things. I will try, sir. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think yeah. I'll request uh, uh, Parthi and uh, uh, Frederick, sir. Maybe if you guys can share your code with yes, everybody. Yes. Yeah. I think and all so of just, you can see if you can run it. You had any questions? So one, I just want you to see this. Uh, okay. This code for this plot. I'll call use uh, with, uh, with gender. This filter is not working. I just put it now, but uh, NA is still coming. How to? Okay, NA, it's not only alcohol, it is sex. Sorry, uh, why, why didn't you run that once again? Control yes, enter. Sorry, I run, but it came as. It comes again with NA. Okay, one second. I think it's coming with uh, sex. Uh, uh, after this, uh, just copy exclamation from exclamation to alcohol bracket. Huh? Is dot n. Yeah, after that, yeah, yeah. Just give one comma before exclamation and just give one bracket after alcohol. Uh, then the, you have to give the close brackets yep. and change it to sex. This will be. No, 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 not there, not there. Yeah, but just add one more bracket after sex. Close the bracket. Sex, right, sex? Sex. Yeah, sex. Come outside the bracket, yeah, one more bracket. And remove this uh, alcohol as two brackets, right? Is dot NA. I think you have to... I think the Frederick had to leave. Huh? Am I audible? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. You can share your screen once again, sir. We lost your screen. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Remove uh, in line ninety-five. There is e dot na alcohol, right? There are two That's brackets okay. closing up alcohol. Just remove yes, one yeah. of them. Yeah. Now control enter. No. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. The problem is, yeah, you're saying DF5 GG plot and then DF5. You're giving data yes, twice. Okay. Yes, yes. I think I'll remove the first. This. Remove the first one, DF5. Now hit control enter. Yeah, now it's working. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Phew. I'm glad that I saw that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any other questions? No, no, sir. The rest I will. Uh, yeah, yeah. We will meet again. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll upload all of this video today itself. And if anybody has any issues, you can either uh, contact. Uh, me or Parthi or uh, uh, Frederick, sir. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, sir. Okay, Perfect. then. Thank you. Yeah, take care. Thank you.
Good night. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night.